Hello everybody, this is me, Angel Rider, coming to you again. You notice I decided to become a little bit more active on this channel because, well, I have some things in my mind and if I can't say them during my show, I might as well say them here, right? Just give myself another outlet. Um, I wanted to talk to you today because, um, well, let's just say that I've been going through kind of like an interesting thing with my boyfriend right now. See, he happens to be not religious, not Christian either, or not Catholic. At one time he was Christian, and then something happened along the way, and he just deconverted, if you will. And so while he's been here, we've had some interesting discussions, well, at least with my parents anyway. Um, I think in a sense my parents want him to be like us, but they're not going to push it, which is good. Um, well, I might just tell my parents too, because I don't think it's right to push your beliefs on other people anyway. But at the same time, a, a thought occurred to me. And that is this. To me, it's not the people within your belief system or non-belief system. Who are teaching you what you're doing right or wrong or whether you got it. It is those people who are outside the realm, who see things from an outsider perspective, who kind of give you a nudge and a bit of a kick in the ass, reminding you that maybe you're not doing as right as you think you are, or just kind of testing you a little bit to see how strong your faith really is. And I came across that realization because, you know, for as harsh as my boyfriend can be on, at times on Christianity or what I or others believe, at the same time, he gives a perspective and says things that everybody within the system doesn't say or doesn't believe. And knowing that and having said that, you know what? People like that are on to something. And I think it's why I enjoy watching, and I thought it was cool being a guest on The Breakfast Club. Because that is composed of people who think differently from me. But they all come together in one channel, talking about different issues from their point of view. And I like things like that. And they're actually having a healthy dialogue. Unfortunately, people don't get into that healthy dialogue because whether you are a believer or non-believer, it becomes a very serious sticking point, if you will. And that's kind of sad, to be honest with you. And it's sad because when you are very emotionally attached... You think you're right, the rest of the world is wrong. And that's not how it works. It's really not how it works. What this boils down to is, listen to what the outsider has to say, because chances are, they're the ones that are really looking at the situation and going, you know, you may want to think about this. Or, you know, I'm not too sure, but how many of them actually do that? So anyway, this is your friendly neighborhood words of wisdom coming to you and saying yes. There is a belief out there. But there's also somebody who's giving you a perspective, apart from your belief, that maybe you should think about and consider, no matter how harsh it is. 